In northern Ghana, the impact of climate change on food security is an everyday reality. Droughts are longer and more frequent, and flash floods have destroyed crops and livestock. There's an increased spread of pests and land degradation. Almost one in three children in this vast region are malnourished and underweight. In response, the Canadian Hunger Foundation and their local partner, ACTEP, are helping thousands of families build food security and resilience to the changing climate. We wanted to make sure that communities had uh, really solid plans to address disasters and risk and vulnerabilities that happen due to climate change. So we did a very participatory process. We worked with men and women to draw out the main hazards and main risks in each community. And once the communities identified these, um, these areas that are prone to hazards, they were able to generate solutions. One simple but important answer is better weather forecasts. Weather volunteers in each village in the project area receive the latest micro forecasts on cell phones. They then pass on the information to neighbors. Traditional messengers and even the village mosque is used to relay the message as well. Forecasts are fine-tuned to a 9-kilometer radius around the village and help farmers decide when to plant and harvest. It increases their productivity. In order to increase resilience, you really have to target people who are farming. It's the agricultural practices that they do on a regular basis, and we did, needed to make sure that they were disaster and climate proof. Climate smart agriculture refers to practical, accessible techniques that help farmers increase food security while reducing their environmental impact and helping mitigate climate change. These covers, for example, made from local trees, reduce evaporation even in hotter temperatures. This container helps keep maize dry, a critical cash crop. Reducing chemical fertilizer and pesticides is also smart, saving farmers money and making the soil last longer. Peanut farmer Cecilia Gia has more than tripled her yield with drought-resistant seeds. <laughs> Cecilia sells her produce to a neighbor who roasts the nuts and then processes them at the local market, increasing the economic impact. When farming collapses due to climate change, women often suffer the most. New sources of income support community savings and families with savings are more resilient in tough times. For Dürer, a new breed of goat introduced by the project is helping make ends meet. They act like a savings account where few can access a bank. This breed of goat copes better in drier climates. A newly trained vet is helping to better protect these valuable economic assets against the increased spread of disease caused by climate change. Deforestation compounds the challenge of climate change, so the project introduced fuel-efficient stoves that use half the firewood. More trees are left standing. And these stoves can be made right in the village. Not surprisingly, the stoves improve the daily lives of women. In all, 50,000 people have benefited with support to build up their resilience and food security. 
but long-term resilience is impossible without more secure livelihoods. 35-year-old Kalapoa is one of hundreds of women who have received small loans and training to expand income-earning activities like the production of shea butter. It's a key component of the cosmetics industry and a welcome source of cash. We have very high percentages of men and women reporting increased agronomic practices. 69% uh, of women and 70% of men have reported increased savings and in incomes. Throughout the project area, communities identified wildfires as a major hazard, destroying crops, forests and livestock, and undermining any benefits to community savings. But now the word fire brings action, not despair. Many villages have formed volunteer fire departments, which receive special clothing and training from the district government. It's just one area of collaboration between the project and local government staff, eager to receive advice on how to be climate smart in their own work. This project has gone well for, for the farmers and also the training for the staff, the district staff themselves on climate change has really helped us. It all adds up to a climate of change that could lead to a more secure future for the next generation.